Battlefield Bad Company 2 came out all the way back in 2010. And to this day, many regard it, including myself, as one of the best Battlefield games ever made. It was very arcadey, it was a lot of fast-paced fun, a lot of action going on, lots of different playstyles and map variety, and of course, overall general just destruction of map capability that was absolutely fantastic. So I have not played this game in at least a decade since I was way back on the PS3 back in those days, but recently I decided to return to Bad Company 2 on the PlayStation 3 to see how it was doing in the modern day. Is it still playable? Is there enough people to fill up lobbies? And is there cheating going on? So I decided to hop in and get these questions answered, so let's check out the results. So I played on a Saturday and a Monday to get a kind of a feel of different days of the weeks and see who's playing. So I hopped in and I was able to pretty much find a match immediately when I searched for Rush and Conquest. And I did a quick play because there's no there is no server browsing on the PS3 as a heads up. And upon joining different lobbies from what I could tell, at least on the weekend, you could get almost a full lobby. It would be about 8v8 or 9v9. It would fluctuate somewhere around there, maybe as low as a 7v7 on the weekends. And keep in mind, the max is a 12v12. But the highest I saw either team go up to at any point during the weekends was maybe 10 players on one team. But even with a slight lack of players filling every lobby, you could still enjoy yourself, have a good time, and it doesn't feel empty really at all. So that's good to know. You can at least still play the game and enjoy yourself playing it in at least the core Rush in Conquest. Now I did switch it to Hardcore to check that out as well, and I was able to find a match of Hardcore pretty much immediately as well, and both Core and Hardcore even as late as 10pm on a Saturday Pacific time, and keep in mind I am in the West Coast region of the US, I'm not sure if that matters where you're located when searching for matches. But when I hopped into Hardcore late at night on that Saturday, I was surprised to find a lot of cooperation going on, people using mics, and everyone in my squad had a mic pretty much, and they're all adults, so there's no children pretty much on Bad Company 2 as far as I could tell, at least those using mics. There was a decent mix of players, there's a lot of experienced players still on the game that are like max rank and stuff like that, but you could still get a jump on them and still do better than them. So I'm just gonna go off of skill, and I think there's... A decent amount of good players out there, a lot of average players, and a bit of casual players in the mix as well. So overall, a good variety of lobbies and different matches and different performances you'll end up having. It could end up just depending on the map and locations and situations you find yourself in, rather than skill or anything like that. As for cheating going on, it's kind of hard to tell if there's cheating going on because there's not really kill cams in Battlefield, but as far as I could tell, there was no blatant cheating. There was no aimbots, no god modes, no one flying around, nothing like that, and it was just everyone playing and having fun. There could very well be cheaters out there, so keep your eyes peeled, but from the time I played, at different times on a Saturday and different times on a Monday, I never encountered any. Now, since Bad Company 2 is one of the more popular Battlefield games of the classic series, I was kind of surprised to see that I wasn't able to really fill lobbies entirely. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but when I played Hardcore, it would be about 6v6 in comparison to Core, where it was about 7v7, 8v8. So it's a little disappointing that I was never able to play a full lobby, but you could still at least enjoy the game, and it is very playable in the modern day of 2023 on the PlayStation 3. So that is good to know. So if you're interested in checking it out, I would highly recommend it. But nonetheless, guys, that's going to be it for this video, and we're going to be continuing down the Battlefield franchise, and I think I have one more Call of Duty to finish off on the PS3 in the modern day, so that'll be up next, and then the rest of the Battlefield games from there. But thank you all for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this or found this useful, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.